president of um, strategy and marketing for Bombardier Business Aircraft. Um, I'm, I'm really happy that you, uh, you made it uh, this morning. Uh, we're here to talk to you about Bombardier Wave uh, this morning, our wireless access virtually everywhere, uh, which is the acronym. Uh, and, um, but before we actually talk about the product, I just want to acknowledge the presence of our guests with me here today. So, first and foremost, the talented one and only, Bill Shatner. Uh, he joins us today, and uh, he actually flew this morning from Van Nuys on our global test bed where we are testing our technology right now. So he's one of the first users, actually, of one of the highest speed internet connection available in business aviation right now. So we're very excited to have you. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Bill, this morning. Also, I'd like to welcome uh, with me here today, Jack Jacobs, Vice President of Marketing uh, at Honeywell. Thank you for joining us, Jack. And of course, Kurt Wittemeyer, uh, in, Mar in Marsat Vice President of Business Aviation. So guys, thank you for being here because without your valued support, uh, our system, our Bombazi Wave system would not be possible. So thank you guys. Um, but before jumping into um, some remarks uh, from myself and Mr. Chatner, uh, what I want to remind you is after this, there'll be a quick uh, Q&A. Uh, and then we'll do a quick photo up here, but then we'll move to Bombardier's booth uh, at around 10.45 and we'll have the opportunity to do another quick photo up uh, with members of the public as well uh, near our booth. Does that work for everybody? Yeah? Good. So, Bombardier Wave, what have we been doing? So, Bombardier Wave will offer the fastest internet connectivity worldwide backed by performance commitments. Um, and you'll be able to be basically video conference from the airplane and also stream the latest William Shatner movie directly on board the airplane. And what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks is we've been uh, testing our technology on a global uh, aircraft, uh, experimental, and we've been delighted by the results uh, on this experimental test bed. So in 2016, our new global aircraft delivering uh, of the production line will be, um, will be equipped as an option with Bombardier Wave uh, and will also um, be able to offer, as of 2016, uh, retrofit of older Global Express XRS 5000-6000 so we can actually install the technology on the installed base, on the existing fleet. So we're very, very proud to be the first OEM to offer uh, such a robust solution as Bombardier Wave. So how does, it, does this work? So basically, Bombardier Wave is leveraging Honeywell Aerospace's powerful JetWave hardware, and of course, in Marsat's JetConnect solution to deliver high-speed access, consistent performance, and seamless coverage across the globe. JetConnect is powered by Inmarsat's next generation KA band satellite constellation, which has steerable beams that can boost bandwidth in high traffic areas and direct capacity where it matters. So the bottom line of all of this, it, it's fast, it's consistent, and it's out of this world. So now it is my distinct honor to introduce our first test user, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Shatner. Oh, thank you. So all that. Uh, you failed to mention, JC, that it's worldwide. Did I? Yes, it's Thank reliable, um, and you're committed. To, uh, uh, all that, it's all technical stuff, it really doesn't matter. What really matters is, I got on this beautiful uh, Bombardier, or as we say in America, bomb Bombardier <laughs> Airplane Global Express. and. And um, while we were at 30,000 feet, I called my office and said, send me a sizzle reel of a uh, documentary that I made of a motorcycle ride that I did between Chicago and, and Los Angeles called The Ride. And instantaneously, The Ride, the sizzle reel of The Ride, was sent to me aboard the airplane on my way from Los Angeles Van Nuys and, uh, Las, uh, and Las Vegas. I received this film instantaneously. 
You can do that worldwide. So if you're an executive going someplace in the world and you need information or you need to uh, inform somebody about something or be informed, you can do this aboard your airplane. Unprecedented. So that's really the bottom line of everything. It works. And it works with reliability. And, uh, and, and that's it. Uh, I have been associated with Bombardier for some time. I'm Canadian, and I relied on that Canadian uh, connection. Uh, when I called Bombardier and said, I have a problem, I'm making a uh, documentary that I'm calling uh, The Captains, and it costs more to get around the world to interview these people that I want to interview. I need an airplane, and Bombardier said, we'll lend you one. And they flew me around the world. And, uh, and because the reason <coughs> they flew me around the world is the gentleman heading up Bombardier at the time became a, uh, a aeronautic coal engineer because of Star Trek, and he was doing payback. And he became a friend. And so I've been associated with them for some years now, and I, a more delightful association I can't imagine. Because I flew into Winnipeg, I haven't told you this, yet, <laughs> but I flew into Winnipeg one time, uh, on aboard a Bombardier plane. We landed to refuel. It was 30 degrees below zero. And I descended from the airplane just to stretch my legs. And this crisp, crisp air, was sunset. And there was this golden sun and this gleaming wing, stainless steel wing, reflecting the crisp, beyond crisp, ice cold air and the setting sun. And you could see it reflected on this nickel, probably Canadian nickel, <laughs> wing, and the whole mystique of flight was seared into my brain, and it was this global express, just the whole image of flying, and the magic of, of the airplane, the magic and the, the incomprehensibility of flying was, was seared into my brain. So I'm so glad to be associated with Bombardier, and this new technology is so part of the modern world. I'm so glad to be a part of it. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Really appreciate <coughs> these words. Uh, and we'll be there for you at the next adventure. If you have uh, another idea, as a documentary around the world, we'll be there to support. So thank you for being here. Um, so before we go to questions, I just want to remind everybody, so we'll, we'll go to our booth at 1045, and also Bombardier will have a sales announcement at 11.15 at the booth as well, so I'm inviting you to join us there for some uh, exciting news. So I'll turn it over to the room. Mark and Anna have microphones, um, and 